And what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dynasty TV. So last time I talked about what I believe is going to happen for the 2017 football season for the AISA. Now we're going to start talking about the Alabama High School Athletic Association and what I believe is going to happen for this upcoming season. Now to start off we're going to dig into Class 1A and just to recap from last year it was the state championship game in Auburn, Alabama at Jordan-Hare Stadium and Maplesville defeated to Pickens County 40 to 12 to not only win the Class 1A state championship but to but to claim their fourth straight state championship in a row and so I'm going to talk about what I believe is going to happen for this upcoming season and who I believe is going to win going to compete for the state championship and make a run for it so we're going to start off in region one and there are eight teams in this region and coming in a place I have McIntosh at number seven is JF Shields. For number six, I have Fruitdale. At number five, I have A.L. Johnson. And making the playoffs at number four, I have Millery. At number three is Marengo High School. At number two and number one, this is a toss up between these two, but I am choosing Linden High School at the number two spot, and I am picking Sweetwater High School to win region one. Now moving on to region two, Coming in 8th place, I have Florella. At number 7, I have Kinston. For number 6 is Pleasant Home. At number 5, Red Level. And making the playoffs at number 4, I have Houston County. For number 3, I have McKenzie. At number 2, I'm choosing Georgiana. And winning Region 2 for Class 1A, I am choosing Brantley. Now, Moving on to Region 3, and this region was Maplesville. They won, the state, they won this region last year along with the state championship. And at number 7, I have Elwood Christian. For number 6, Otagaville. Number 5 is Highland Home. And making the playoffs at number 4, I'm choosing Lochapoca. For number 3, Notasolga. Number 2, Isabella. And repeating winning Region 3, I have Maplesville. At number four, I am choosing for in seventh place Donahoe. For number six, Appalachian. For number five, I'm choosing Victory Christian. And making the playoffs at number four, Talladega County Central. For number three, Raglan. Number two, Winterboro. And I am choosing Wadley to win Region Four this year. At number five, we have number seven, Brilliant. At number six, Holy Spirit. Number five, Barry, uh, making the playoffs at number four is Marion County, and third place, South Lamar, second place, Hubbardville, and I'm choosing Pickens County to repeat as Region 5 champions. Now, moving on to Region 6, we have Gale, excuse me, at number, in seventh place, we have Galesville, at number six, Jacksonville Christian, for number five, Coosa Christian. At making the playoffs at number four, I'm choosing Valley Head. For number three, I'm choosing Woodville. At number two, Cedar Bluff. And winning Region 6, I'm choosing Spring Garden. Now, making Region 7, we have Southeastern at seventh place. At number six, Hubbard. Number five, Lynn. Making the playoffs at number four, I'm choosing Meek. Uh, number three, Summerton Christian. Decatur Heritage coming in second place, and I am choosing Addison at number one. And now for the final region for Class 1A is Region 8, and in this in this region for seventh place, I am choosing Tharpton. At number six, Bina. Number five is Waterloo, making the playoffs at number four, Phillips. Uh, number th in third place is Shoals Christian. Number two, Cherokee. And winning Region 8, I am choosing Hackleburg. Now, for all the teams that I believe will make a run for the state championship, these top teams come to mind. Uh, of course, we have Maplesville, the returning state champions. Um, Pickens County, I believe they can make another run at it, but it's going to be tough for them this year. Um, Brantley, Wadley are a couple of known 1A teams that always make the playoffs. Um, and in Region 1, I'm choosing two teams that can make a run for the state championship this year. as the Linden High Patriots and the Sweetwater Bulldogs. Uh, but if I were to pick a team right now who I believe would be in the state championship and would have a great chance of winning, 
Uh, I'm going with Maplesville again to make it to the state championship for the fifth straight year and possibly win their fifth straight state championship. So that covers my prediction for Class 1A for the Alabama High School Athletic Association. Um, we'll see what happens up We'll see what happens in a couple of weeks, and it's just going to be another year of football coming up. So I hope you enjoy it, and it's going to be a great one.